Meld the production M harmonizer here makes it easy to add harmonization effects to vocal recordings after the fact, and it's also got some other cool effects up its sleeves. Start by loading up your door and drag um, Let Go Vox onto an audio track. Would you ever let go? Add M harmonizer CM as an insert on the audio track. On the effect interface, you'll see a virtual keyboard with buttons for octave and chord settings. You'll also see that uh, C is highlighted on the keyboard. This represents the root note, um, so when you play back the audio now, there won't be any harmonization, it'll just play back the audio as originally recorded. Let go. Click G above Would the highlighted note. Go? Now when you play back you the audio, the root go? note is harmonized with a fifth. Click the go? mode button in the sound settings panel and select vocoder high quality mode, Would and this gives us improved sound quality in exchange for a Would slightly higher CPU usage. Deactivate the C and G notes by clicking them. Uh, next we're going to feed M Harmonizer CM some MIDI, which allows us to quickly and easily create harmonies. Add a MIDI channel in your door and route it to an audio track. If you're not sure how to do this, consult your software's documentation. Create a MIDI region that will play at the same time as the audio. In the MIDI grid editor, start by sequencing a note that plays C4 for the duration of the vocal. C4 is the root note, so Would the audio will play back as normal. Next, add an E above the C at the start of the word go, go, and this gives us a simple harmony effect. Would you ever let go? Using MIDI input, um, complex harmony effects can be created, but that's not all M Harmonizer CM is capable of. For instance, the uh, formant shift parameter can be a powerful tool for changing the character of vocals. For example, take the formant shift go? down to minus two semitones. Would you ever let go? Now this makes the vocal sound Would as if it's being performed by a singer with a deeper voice, though the actual tuning of the vocal remains the same. Next, set the width to seven semitones. Now, this detunes the left and right channels by seven Would semitones, giving us a more complex harmony and a cool stereo effect as well. Go? Would you ever let go? As well as the various other tuning options in the global pitch panel, there's also the key performance parameter. Usually, when M harmonizer pitches vocals around, it preserves the performance, but if we turn this down to 0%, you'll um, it'll stop preserving the performance and the sound will get a kind of less realistic chipmunk kind of effect. Would you ever let go? Would you ever let go?